global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. If you are living in Nigeria, you will agree with me that the new Naira note that caused a lot of havoc and caused many small and medium scale businesses in Nigeria to close down. That particular 1000 Naira note and 500 Naira note are almost extinct. What we get to see is the old Naira note. The question is, where is the new Naira note? Billions that was used to produce them. And how come we are still seeing the old Nara note much more than the new Nara note? Well, as we speak, it looks like there's more to it that meets the eyes. A lot of confusion already brooded. In a moment, we're going to find out what is uh, what is in stock for MFLA and what he intends to do, according to source as alleged. Well, before we go into the news, people kindly subscribe to our channel. Well, according to the news, the financial industry and Nigerians were hit with a report that President Muhammad Buhari had granted Central Bank of Nigeria (CBN) Governor Godwin MFLA study leave. <laughs> it was also um, found out that Amethile applied for study leave as a means to flee the country before May 29th, assumption of office by President Tilet Bola Chinobo. The report, the report claimed that the Department of State Services, that's DSS, which attempted to arrest and detain Amethile in the past over certain allegations against him, uh, kicked against the study leave reportedly granted to Emefiele as it means he will flee the country before May 29 when another government comes in. But sources in the presidency and the apex financial institution denied any study leave approval by Buhari. Responding in a short message on the topic, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and publicity. I'm talking about Malam Gaba Shehu. He said, and I quote him, if the governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emefiele, has been granted study leave, supposedly by President Muhammad Buhari, this is unknown to us. It is also unknown to the President's Secretariat, headed by, headed by the Chief of Staff. A source in CBN also denied knowledge of such approval by the president. However, another presidency source informed uh, many Nigerians that there, there was an application from Amefele seeking approval for study leave overseas. I quote it word for word. He said, I heard the CBN governor apply to the president for study leave, but I don't know if the president has granted that application, the source said. Close associates of MFLA disclosed that he had confided in some of his aides and uh, that he intends to serve his second term as the Apex Bank's chief. MFLA was in Lagos on Tuesday for the third biannual non oil export summit in Lagos with the theme RT200 Challenges and Prospects to Success. Recall that MFLA was appointed by the former president, good luck, Jonathan, in 2014 and appointed for a second term in Buhari in 2019. Mm. A lot of Nigerians have reacted to this. Let's please feel the pulse of Nigerians. And of course, we look at this very critically. Uh, someone here says there's no hiding place for any criminal. No matter how long and far he runs, the long arm of the law will catch up with him sooner or later. And the person here says, sinners will run when nobody pursues. Who says? And the person here says, it is like a criminal using CBN position to heat up and confuse the polity after an expression of selfish interest using other Nara redesign as strategy to take inside to diminish a particular candidate so as to favor the opponent and Nigerian said capital no. Another person says uh, it is uh, another person says, it's like a criminal using CBN position to heat up and confuse policy. Another person said, I thought APC has won. Why are you guys still after him? Because you guys know LUP claims may be true that he won the election, and so people see it as CBN governor's contribution to it. Another person here says, Amir must have must not be allowed to escape from this country. He has come. He has some questions to answer. 
concerning his role in the satanic Nara redesign policy that inflicted on untoward hardship on innocent Nigerians. And the person says, even if a Mephile successfully escaped, he cannot escape the wrath of God. He has been the worst CBN governor Nigeria has ever had, very corrupt and very wicked. God will surely you know, pay him back. Okay, but a lot of comments here. And I can assure you, no one seems to even say anything good about it. Let's cast our mind back a little, just a little, uh, when the elections, uh, the campaigns were on. That was when the redesign came. Many Nigerians were for it. Some other Nigerians were against it. But in the whole of this, we Nigerians started buying Naira with Naira. It got so bad that POS agents were even charging as much as 10000 to draw 20000 It was that bad. There was no money anywhere. You go to the bank, no money in the bank. They'll tell you they can only, if you even manage to enter a queue, they will only spare you 5000 And uh, so the, you are buying money with money. Even even loan self, you don't pay it that way. But unfortunately, that's what most Nigerians suffered. And lots of small businesses and medium scale businesses that managed to survive that period, and many of them are still paying uh, the, the effect of that particular redesign. Or, and many people believe that this whole Amephilia money redesign thing, they said they believe that he ought to, if he was really serious about it, with the whole aim of economic development, he ought to have done that at the midsection of uh, President Buhari's um, tenure. And not to bring it just about when elections are going on. So many persons believe that it was an act by him to truncate uh, the move by the likes of Tunubu uh, Bolam because they, they believe that um, there have been some money stacked somewhere and just a case of Mara changing hands. But with Mara redesign, of course, it means that whatever money you are stuck anywhere is as good as useless because nobody's going to trade with it. But what caught my attention very strongly during this whole period was the fact that the likes of Madame Nisa Erufai and Ganduje were very bold to make strong statements like um, the, those in their constituency, those in their state, should go ahead, use the old Naira note, nothing will happen. As soon as their own press, principal, APC, Bola Metinubu comes in, they revert it back. Of course, p people believe that that was more like a treasonable word and they should have been tried for it, but nothing happened really. It was just a case of uh, brothers, you know, trying to stop brothers. So, as usual in Nigeria, nothing really will happen. Fast forward, whatever it was that was the game plan or the big picture and it, all of this, I guess it didn't work. And now, and if you have ever known Bola Metinubu, he, he is one man that... Um, he has what we call emotional intelligence. He has learned to mark his emotions very well. But mark my words, those who had hurt him and hurt him real bad will get a pound of flesh. When he was telling the Southeasterners that um, if you don't do the right thing, it will be a case of uh, bread soaked in water. They didn't understand that very simple English. It's so very simple that even a layman will understand this. It's, get, it's getting clearer now that maybe they will likely get bread soaked in water from the southeast. That's a good rough bit of uh, with a method of going off or trying to go off, one would understand why. Let's see that conversation was to take.